Hello and welcome to the Math for Fun. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how do you do matrix operation with FX991EX calculator. Before we start, we need to reset the calculator so that we can clear everything stored in the calculator previously. To do that, we do Shift, 9, 3, and then reset all. Let me show you how do you do that. We bring the calculator on and we do Shift, 9, and here you can see that reset setup data memory and initialize all so we choose number three and then we press equal to perform the yes operation and then initialize all press ac key and here the calculator is on the reset mode let's go for example number one here we have matrix subtraction and multiplied by a scalar so we have to do like the matrix that contains the numbers minus sign minus sign minus two minus two and also it's multiplied by a scalar number multiplied by two and we have to subtract it from three times the other matrix how do you do that first we need to define the matrices so that the calculator knows what to do to define the matrices we go for the matrix mode we go for menu and we choose number four which is the matrix mode that's number four and then we define the matrix let's take this first one as matrix a so this is matrix A, so we choose number one. And it, the calculator asks you matrix A number of rows. So here we have two rows, so we pick up two. And number of columns, because we have two columns, we choose two also. Then we have the matrix two by two. Now we start entering the numbers. We have minus nine, so we put minus nine, and then we press equal. And minus nine again, we put minus nine, equal, minus two, equal and then minus two finally we have the matrix defined and if you go for the options you'll find matrix a is defined now we have also matrix b here which is zero two minus two minus five so we clear we put ac and then we define another matrix let's go for option and here number one we have defined matrix so we pick up number one and then we choose matrix b because matrix a already defined so we already entered the numbers for the matrix A. Now we choose matrix B. We put two and we put two rows, two columns as we did before. And we put the number zero. We press equal, two, we put equal, minus two, we put equal also, and minus five, and then matrix B also defined. Now we put AC to clear. We don't clear the data by the way, but already matrix A and matrix B have been defined in the calculator. So that the calculator, if you choose matrix A, is gonna give you this, matrix B is gonna give you that one. Now let's do some operations. We have two times matrix A minus three times matrix B. So we pick up two times. Now, how do we recall matrix A? We go for option, and here we have matrix A, which is number three. So I'll put number three. So here we have two times matrix A, which is two times this matrix and we have minus and we have three and then we call matrix b which is number four so that's number four and here everything has been set we put equal oh my god that's the answer in one shot look at that these are the numbers who are representing two times matrix a minus three times matrix b now it gives you the numbers here but here it shows you minus 18 which is the first element now if you go for the next one it shows you minus 24. If you go down, you get 11. And if you go to the left, it gives you two. And here it is done. Let's go for another example. Here we have matrix product. You know, we multiply the matrix A by matrix B. How do you do that? As we said, we need to define the matrices for the calculator and do the product between them. Let's clear the data as we mentioned previously. We put shift nine, three equal and AC, so in this case, we already deleted all what we have stored because matrix A and matrix B already stored, so we need to clear it. If you are doing operation on the same matrices, just keep it, but if you have different numbers in the matrices, you have to clear all the previous matrices you have entered. So now we go for menu, as we said, number four, that's number four, and now we have matrices. So we define matrix A, that's number one. So we put two rows, two columns, and we add the numbers 0, 2, minus 2, minus 5. So this is 0, equal, 2, equal, minus 2, equal, and minus 5, equal. And we finish matrix A. You can go for AC or you can go for options straightforward. So we put 
define matrix, we put matrix B. I choose number one to define the matrix. Now matrix B is number two, so we choose number two, and we have two rows and two columns, and now we have six minus six, three, zero. We enter it, six equal minus six equal three equal zero equal, and now we have the two matrices has been defined to the calculators. Now we want to make the multiplication between them. To do the multiplication, we choose option, matrix A, which is number three, that's number three. This is matrix A. We do multiply and we go for option and we choose matrix B, which is number four, that's number four. So here we have matrix A times matrix B and we do equal and then it gives you the product. You know the product of the matrices when we do multiplication, we do the row by the column, like we do 0 times 6 plus 2 times 3. And we do 0 times minus 6 plus 2 times 0. So it will summarize everything and it will do this for you in one shot. But you have to define it carefully and put the numbers carefully for avoiding mistakes. Let's do another example. Here we have determinant. Let's go for the calculator and show you how do you calculate the determinant of a matrix. So here we have 0, 2, minus 2, minus 5. I remember this probably the matrix A we did. Let's go for option and we do matrix A 3. That's 3. And we want to do the determinant for this matrix. So you can't say matrix A and do determinant. So you have to go to the left and then go for option and go down one arrow. And you have here determinant number 2. So we choose 2. So you see here determinant of matrix A. And then we go to the right and we close the bracket and we do equal and you get four. You all know that. How do you calculate the determinant of a matrix? We do cross product and we have minus sign between them. So you do zero times minus five, which is zero, minus minus two times two, which is minus four, but we have minus before, so which is minus minus four, then it is four. So the determinant of matrix A is equal to four. So also you can straightforward go for option, and go for one arrow down and choose determinant so take two then you have determinant and go for options and choose matrix a which is number three and close the bracket and do equal you get four same thing if you write matrix a and use the arrow key to go back because we have to write determinant before the matrix a so that the calculator understand that you're doing determinant of a matrix let's do another example here we have the matrix transpose. You know that the transpose means that here we have 0, 2, and minus 2, minus 5. This is the row. This is the second row. We transpose means we change the row to be a column. So instead of being 0, 2, so we write 0, 2 down. Minus 2, minus 5, it becomes minus 2, minus 5 down. Let me show you how do you do that on the calculator also. So 0, 2, minus 2, minus 5. As we mentioned before, this is matrix A we already entered. To do that, we go for option and we go down one arrow and we put transposition which is number three and then we pick up matrix A so go for option and choose matrix A which is number three also and then close the bracket and make equal and you see 0 2 minus 2 minus 5 0 2 it becomes 0 2 as a column and minus 2 minus 5 it becomes minus 2 minus 5 as a column vertically let's do another one Matrix inverse. To do the matrix inverse, we have to calculate the determinant of the matrix first, and we put one over the determinant, and here we have to switch between the numbers, like four, six, it becomes six, four, and here we have to put the opposite of two and seven, it becomes minus two and minus seven. You see, like we flipped four, six, it becomes six, four, and here we have two, seven, it becomes minus two, minus seven, and we multiply outside this matrix, by 1 over the determinant. What is the determinant? Which is 4 times 6 minus 2 times 7, as we did like in the previous example. So we have to do all of this. We have to simplify here. 4 times 6, 24, minus 7 times 2, which is 14. So 24 minus 14 is 1 over 10. And here, as you see, we just uh, put the matrix as it is, and we multiply the number outside by all the elements inside the matrix. You see, like 1 over 10, we have to multiply it by 6, by minus 7, by minus 2, and 4, and then you get the answer. So, like, as you see that, there are so many steps to perform this operation. So, here we can do it by calculator easily. But let me show you how do you do that, because it's not one of the options in the calculator when you press the option. Let's define the matrix first. So, we go for option, 
define matrix, that's one. And we say, because we already put matrix A, matrix B, so let's choose three, so that it's matrix C. So we put two rows, two columns, and we add four, seven, two, six, so we'll put four equal seven equal two equal six equal, and then the matrix is already done. So we clear the screen by pressing AC. Now go for option, and we need matrix C, and we have to do the inverse of matrix C. So we press number five, so that's five, which is matrix C, and look at the inverse of the matrix, what it is. It is one of the keys here. Look at that key, which is X to the power minus one. So when you press X to the power minus one, it shows you matrix C inverse. Remember, x to the power minus 1, it's not x to the power of minus 1. It's not like that x squared or x to the power. It's x minus 1, which is the inverse of x. So the inverse of x, which is the inverse of matrix C here. So if we press equal sign, you will find the answer of the inverse of this matrix straightforward. Look at that. It's 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Minus 0 0.2, it's correct. Minus 0 0.7 is correct, 0 0.4, which is correct. And you can do this manually as I've showed you in the uh, presentation. And look at here, we have each number of those, which is 0 0.6, which is three over five in fractional mode. So any one of those, if you go for any number, you see it's in fractional mode, which is minus seven over 10. Also the other one with 0 0.4, which is two divided by five. You can try it if you want. Two divided by five, you'll get 0 0.4. And the last one here, like minus 0 0.2, which is minus 1 over 5. And this is how do you find the inverse of the matrix. Remember, we put the matrix and we choose x inverse, which is x to the power minus 1 here. There's an idea, you know, about inverses of matrices, that if you have a matrix and you multiply it by its inverse, then you should get the identity matrix. So let's say this matrix answer Okay, and we want to multiply it by, this is a matrix answer, you see, like I just make multiply, and let's say option, and we choose matrix C, which is number five, that's number five, okay, so which is, this is the inverse of matrix C, we want to multiply it by matrix C, if you see, it's equal to its identity, you see, like one, zero, zero, one, that's the identity matrix, so any matrix, you multiply it by its inverse, you should get the identity matrix which is on the shape one zero zero one that's a good idea right sometimes you have to take care of when you put the uh, matrices especially for the inverses why because the inverse matrix it depends on the uh, determinant and on one over the determinant what about if the determinant is equal to zero like here if you do the determinant minus nine times minus two it gives you 18 and minus 2 times minus 9, it gives you also 18, but you have to subtract them. So once you subtract, you get 0. And for the inverse, it's 1 over the determinant, which is 1 over 0. 1 over 0, which is undefined. So let's define this matrix to the calculator. So we put option, and let's choose number 1 to define the matrix. Let's pick up number 4, matrix D, 2 by 2. So we put minus 9 equal minus 9 equal minus two equal minus two equal so we finish and let's try to do the inverse of the matrix so press ac and we go for option and we pick up matrix d number six and we do the inverse we click on x inverse and we do equal and you see here you get math error math error because the determinant is equal to zero and you have to put one over the determinant, which is one over zero, which is undefined. So it gives you math error. So remember that if you want to find the matrix inverse, if you get a math error, which means that there is no inverse for this matrix. For the three by three matrices, we can perform all what we have done before, like the matrix addition, subtraction, multiply by a scalar, determinant, and, and inverse even, you can do it by the calculator here. So let's, let, let me show you how do you do, let's say, the determinant and the inverse. So let's define the matrix. What you have to do here, you go for option, define matrix, that's number one. And let's call this D again. Let's choose D. And we choose three, and number of columns, three. So here we have three by three matrix. So we put the numbers, one equal, two equal, minus one equal, 
2 equal minus 1 equal 3 equal minus 1 equal 0 equal and finally 1 equal we have done we press AC and then we go for option and we choose number 6 for matrix D so we choose 6 and we do the inverse and we do equal and here is the inverse matrix which is done by the calculator in just few seconds okay what about the determinant click AC and go for option and go down one arrow and choose determinant which is number two and go for options again and choose six which is matrix D close the bracket and then press equal you will get minus 10 in one shot you see like it takes you a longer time to do this manually one more thing here I would just remind you about like if you want to know the matrix identity which is two by two or three by three and you forgot like how's the shape for this kind of matrices you go for option and you go down one arrow and you press number four which is identity press number four and it gives you identity identity of which kind of matrix we need let's say two by two so we press two close bracket and write equal so it gives you one zero zero one which is two rows and two columns now if you want the other one which is matrix three by three identity so go for option and go down one arrow pick up number four and write three and close bracket and then press equal and then here the three by three matrix which is one zero 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 one zero one zero zero one and this will remind you about the identity matrices and here i can say that we approach the end of the video if you like the video don't forget to like and share and welcome to math for fun and bye for now